Hi guys, welcome to Trainsim TV and a happy new year from us to you. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Southeast Network Routes. This is the, the hot topic of routes on the workshop at the moment. This is from a chap called, if I find his name. Uh, oh God, where? Ah, there you are. Nicholas. Nicholas is the guy who created this. I, I, I've heard a few bits and pieces about it. I have and then since looked at it over the Christmas period. I did aim to try and do a video over Christmas, but it's just been so hectic. I, I haven't had the chance to do it until now. Um, so, we're looking at a scenario from Matt G. Uh, Matt G17, if I got that right. Uh, this is a scenario of ATS. Uh, this section covers between um, Seven Oaks and through to Cannon Street. I also do have another video to do as well, which is all featured the Hayes section. So, briefing first of all is good evening. You're due off in a few minutes, so the only real thing to do is set up the destination blind to not in service. Control has advised that you have a, a second driver on board who will be getting dropped off at Orpington, as he is to cover a relief turn out of Orpington. Once you get the road, you may depart. Right, so okay, okay. So we'll get that done first. So we need to have not in service. Try and figure out how where this may be probably right at the end so i said this is a uh acs working so i think it's shifting at eight there we go there we go hmm. Service there we go. I don't know if I'm meant to have no numbers or not. I'm just going to leave the numbers as they are unless it tells me my F1. Uh, it doesn't. I have got the manual for the 465, however. However, I have no idea. Uh if there's meant to be a number or not <laughs> when you're out of service. I'm just going to leave it, I think. Might have to just do that. As you can tell, the south area isn't normally my uh, area. Well, it isn't my area of expertise at all. It's just uh, open for the rest, really. My lord. Hellfire. <laughs> That's beast. Right, let me get this cab set up. Using the, uh, the power brake control for the first time in actually quite a long time. I've not really used it. This is probably one of the first times, really, I've not actually had that much time to play with it. Definitely haven't touched it really at all during the Christmas period. I've just, it's just been sat sort of like stacked up out of the way. So it's nice to actually get it set up and have a little dabble with it. And again, it's, it's nice to have a go with the 465. It's something I've not done for a very long time either. Right, we've got the road. Um, so let us proceed. I don't know if there's any motor thrash or not on this. Nope. I do like how these sound though. So this was a bit of a um I sort of heard bits and pieces on the great van about this, but it was a bit out of the blue, quite a quick releasing really. It just sort of appeared one day on, on the workshop just before Christmas, literally like two days before. Um, so I've, I've had a little play with it. I've done a couple of odd scenarios offline just during over Christmas, sort of like haven't well, have a time to play about here and there, but it's just been so busy with Christmas and everything. I've just not had that time to do anything really as such video wise, bar the 85. This will be getting featured on the stream as well. Just hard to try and fit everything in around this busy period. But yeah, the, the routes, it's huge. I mean, it's obviously a merge of other routes, and then there's added bits and pieces onto it, but it covers a huge area of missing bits and pieces. Um, we'll go through the workshop um, log of this as well. It goes up as far as Faversham. I believe it doesn't go any further due to some stability issues, but I reckon there probably wouldn't be any issues with it, but you never know. 
So yeah, it's been took off from up to there, but even still, it's, there's loads to do. <clears throat> Quite cool. I do have um, all the bits and pieces to do with the workshop stuff. I've got that open, so we'll cover that. I see some of the old slam doors in as well. The scenario will be in the link uh, below uh, in the description. So if you wish to have a play with this, uh, go for it. I'll put the actual root link to the workshop as well in the description just so that uh, you may be able to locate it easier. Uh, but the scenario is 5 Lima 77 1628 Seven Oaks to Cannon Street working. It does send the uh, briefing a little bit different as well. Uh, hello, having set up the cab um, and destination, and once you're ready and get the road, you may depart. A little priority on the way, uh, so be wary of your signals and have a nice trip. This will be quite fun for a video. Me watching signals. I'm just going to quickly show here because <clears throat> obviously this is all new. These are new stations. Um, Hit bashed, but they're really, really well done. I mean, I have actually driven down here already, and I have seen this station. Great, using the bits and pieces that are available to make these. It interests me how they've got a station signs because workshop routes you can't ship assets. So whether these assets have been created elsewhere and they've been slipped in a DTG route in hope that maybe at some point, whether Danny, um, or it's Danny, like Danny Leach, had plans to do something with this or not, I don't quite know, but. At least it's got proper station signage. Cool. Should have looked around seven hours, really. I never mean, should have thought I was too busy uh, setting the train up. The scenery work is absolutely bang on. Look at, I mean, there's plenty of detail there for my liking, and it, it matches in quite well with DTG style. Um, but the way all the forge is done and stuff like that, I mean, it, it looks great. I mean, it's free at the end of the day. It's a, it's a free route off the workshop, and I don't normally. Grab many boots off there, so to find one that's really, really nicely done is uh, top draw. That sorry, it says via something totally different at the back. It's like it's uh, got a different code for the VA one. Annoyingly, never mind. So there's a couple of bits and pieces. I mean, I'm not really going to throw attention to the track. There is some areas that um, are a little bit rough. It does state in the actual workshop stuff about that, so it is already known. And there is actually some plans to go back and fix some bits and pieces where possible. Um, point where it sort of has some unrendered junctions, really. But um, I think the main one, that sort of, for me, would be um, is seeing that the track's moving on the gradient transitions uh, smoothed off just so they're not so rough into some of the, um, the gradients but it's free at the end of the day we cannot grumble and uh, it, it was from the cab it was fantastic really neat really tidy cannot complain at all really we shouldn't complain at free stuff anyway be grateful that someone's taking the time and effort to actually do this for us free of charge. So, the Work in Progress Southeastern Network, which is also known as the SEML, Mid Kent Line, and Bromley North branches. This is the Work in Progress route in a close to finished state. A lot of effort has gone into trying to make the route look as accurate as possible, but please do not expect payware quality and perfection. This is an entirely freeware project performed in uh, the dev's spare time. Please do not dis uh, redistribute the route anywhere else uh, in any way, shape or form as well. So that's the uh, the first opening bit there. I will go through, through the route description in a minute. I'm just going to attend to these yellow signals. Don't want to go through these, you see. See, there's a tunnel reverb as well. I think we 
we'll still be following these 37s that uh, overtook us at 7 Oaks. So where we transition through to existing routes, I may not be able to pick, pinpoint where they are, but I know at the minute we are in new territory. And I do know where we obviously go into further new territory when we get towards Cannon Street. So obviously you could turn off to go to um, Blackfriars. You could continue, but you, it didn't go all the way. Um, it, I think it ended like one station sort of-ish before. But then even then it wasn't fully complete. It was sort of just tracking some platform markers, I think, and portals. Another station here. Have a little look at this one. There we are. Knockholt. <clears throat> yeah, it's decent. It's cool, isn't it? It all looks really, really neat and tidy. It's fun. Ah, it's really good. I really like it. And it's nice to see as well. There's actually quite a good amount of scenarios already um, coming out. Um, ATS have got a few different ones on there already. I said this is off there, and uh, some of the ones I've played already are off there. Um, I've got one that's going to feature on the Hayes section. That's a scenario that Ash Clark has put together for me. Um, so that will be featuring on the other video that we're doing. So that will feature another part of the route um, as well. Leading off, um, we might be safe. It's gone green to be fair. Um, so, route description this route adds the southeastern main line from London Charing Cross and London Cannon Street to Tunbridge and Paddock Wood. It also includes the Mid Kent lines to Hayes and the uh, Bromley North branch from Grove Park to Grom uh, so Gromley, Romley North. Um, this has been achieved by merging the new Chatham main line, excluding anything west of Farisham to improve stability, the northern part of the South London network. And then the Medway Valley line and parts of the London to Faversham route. The missing pieces of track and the scenery have been added in between and equates to about 31 miles worth of new track. That's cool. Um, the route has been worked on for uh, two years and was initially just going to be the Bromley North branch. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be the Bromley North branch. And then has it since expanded it uh, to encompass more than just that. Uh, just put a pause there. This is um, Chelsfield. So quite a few stations as well. I mean, I'll, I'll go through all the new stations that actually come with this route. I think there's 33 new stations included on the uh, on this route. So there's quite a lot. Yeah, good use of assets. Good use of what's available. What way? Uses the uh, the banking assets that we use. Really are a handy asset to uh, to build areas up. It's cool. I like that. Sort of like uh, we draped over the top of the wall. Cool. I like it. It's very nice. Again. So, um, track for Swanley to Seven Oaks and parts of the North Kent line are also included, although without scenery or signalling at this moment. Um, this will hopefully come later, um, later on down the line. Uh, track has been relayed in some places where the merges had uh, overlap files. So, basically where tiles have merged together, there's a bit of overlapping tracks. So, those have been relayed to obviously reconnect up correctly so that they can actually drive across uh, the new merging parts. Um, the setting of the route is between 2012 and 2022. This is due to the span of where references have been taken from. 
and the fact that the merge routes are already set in different years as well. So London Bridge is as its old layout, which complicates things a little bit. Requirements for this route, which are all essential, so I'll make note, are the Chatham Mainline London to Gillingham, Chatham Mainline Wed uh, Medway Valley, Chatham Mainline London Victoria and Blackfriars Dover and Ramsgate, London to Faversham High Speed, London uh, South London Network, and then also Portsmouth Direct Line, London Waterloo to Portsmouth. So those are all your requirements, and they are all essential, so please do ensure that you have each of those um, before trying to run this route, because you'll probably run into issues and problems down the line quite soon. You're just around Orpington. <clears throat> I'm going to let our matey boy off of you. Uh, credits and resources. So uh, it does actually say, let them know if there's anyone been missed off. But uh, DTG and the people involved obviously making the original routes and assets. Daniel DTG, who originally laid the track for the City Templing and Blackfriars to Loughborough Junction on the new CML for his South London and Templing route. And also the connection between Catford Bridge and New Beckenham, which was added as a extra in the new CML route. Capitalizing videos and line side for station layout references were sourced from uh, there's a few video links in there at YouTube. Um, speed limits and track layouts, network rail sectional appendix, the signal numbers and placement are off open train times. Uh, line side and uh, distance scenery Google Maps, obviously, um, as usual, as expected. And that's was off, by the way. <clears throat> So, uh, and also credit to himself for the uh, new track lane and placing of the new scenery and stuff along the, the new parts of the route. So I think we're on existing parts of the route currently. Um, going this way, apparently. I don't... Bromley North, that's a new part. So there's all sorts of new bits and pieces that uh, we'll be exploring over various videos and streams. So, new stations list. So, these are all new um, to the route. So, London Charing Cross, Waterloo East. Track existed from the CML route, but um, received makeshift scenery in the route. London Cannon Street, Deptford, St. John's, Lewisham, Blackheath, Ladywell, Hither Green, Lee, Grove Park, Elmstead Woods, Sundridge Park, Bromley North, Elmer's End, Eden Park, West Wickham, Hayes, Chelsfield, Knockholt, Dunton Green, Seven Oaks, and Hillen Hildenborough, sorry, Hildenborough. So yeah, there's quite a few new stations there to uh, explore in various scenarios that you may find over time. But yeah, this this gives you quite a lot of uh, scoping scenarios and sort of new stuff as well that you've not been able to do properly. It makes good use of Danny um, Leach's seven, uh, 376 reskin as well. At this point, I don't know if we're going somewhere new, somewhere old. I know we're going to be looking at a red signal in a second, though, by lots of things. So I think this is already existing, so Shortlands, Beckenham Junction. Although we're going that way, so is that new? No, Ravensbourne isn't new, because I didn't read that out. So I think we're on some existing parts of route. We'll see some new stuff again in a bit. 
This is what you're going to get with this, these videos. You're going to get a bit of old, something new. Um, but again, this just shows you what can be done, basically. Some interesting scenarios if you're uh, into this part of the uh, UK. <clears throat> Whilst waiting, uh, what to expect? So at the start of building the route, I had no ex uh, experience at all in route building. Thus one can uh, see that the earliest parts of the route hadn't aged that well. The track laying and gradients aren't perfect for the Bromley North Branch and Hither Green to Elmstead Woods section, but it's perfectly drivable and has working signalling. On the other hand, newer parts of the route like the Mid Kent Line and Shellsfield Down to Tunbridge has much better track lane with super elevation and closer to accurate gradients. Performance on uh, the devs desktop and laptop were good and pretty much the same as the default DTG routes. You can't guarantee however that the route will run smoothly on all computers at high settings uh, despite it doing so on his own system. Uh, with too much AI the frame rate will be dragged down regardless for example which is to be expected at the end of the day uh, when you're doing busy scenarios. I mean, we'll see what this runs like. I mean, the minute I'm getting 39 to 40 FPS um, on this scenario, <clears throat> which is about average, really. Nothing to worry about. Um, wish list and to-do list is at this moment in time to fix rough track in certain places. Start working on the North Kent or Swanley to Seven Oaks sections. A more comprehensive quick drive. Fix any issues raised by users if possible. Uh, and also to rebuild London Bridge and surrounding track infrastructure, most likely as a standalone 2.0 version of the route. That's cool. So we we'll actually could see it down the line, current London Bridge, which will make scenario creation a lot easier, by the way, because obviously you'll have more, I think there's more platforms there now. So currently it's hard to try and squeeze trains into platforms that don't exist into older layouts. Really, really is a headache. So <clears throat> that'd be quite help helpful to a lot of uh, scenario devs, I can imagine. <clears throat> I've tried making um, a scenario at one point on um, the Blackfriars route, the, the main DTG version, and um, yeah, I really did struggle. I mean, it's just... I mean, it's, I'm not there picking here, I'm just... Just little small bits, really. Like You've got little, uh, little bits of floatiness. Easy fixes at the end of the day. You're all human. Stuff like this, just... I probably just put the fence to the uh, brick wall and leave it there, but that's fair play. <clears throat> I mean, that's probably not actually his work. Probably a bit of DTG's work there, maybe, but even still, just to you could find something just lob, lob in the gap. End of the day. Yeah, this is I think this is DTG section too, anyway. So we did say we're not highest of priority, so. We are going to be stopping and starting uh, here and there to get to our destination. Which is a distance of, as we stand, as the crow flies, I don't quite know actually, because it's not telling me. Uh, it's not telling me. I can find out, I think, in a second. If I go on the actual map, I think it may tell me. <clears throat> we also hope you all had a good new year. Um, whatever you did and again as well to anyone that joined us for the quiz night on uh, just before the new year thank you to everyone it was a really really good fun night to be honest we'll definitely look at doing another one in the future at some point maybe uh, so on the map where are we here uh, we're going there Charing Cross uh, no we're not we're, no we're not we're going to Cannon Street sorry we're going here so we're actually going there. So when I come do Ashes Snow, I think the one that I was doing for that actually goes over here. So that will be another terminus station to add as the uh, video differences there. That's cool. You can tell I don't really sign the uh, the general London terminuses. <clears throat> I 
the horn stopped working. Cab, that's great. No idea why. Working outside. Oh. There's a dodo inside, apparently. <clears throat> Yeah, there must be a, um, a task somewhere hidden that's not allowing the countdown uh, mileage to show up just yet. So, unfortunately, I can't get them details. I definitely would say um, like going through some of these bits of trees just to move them back away from the track side. So there's also some uh, known major inaccuracies. Um, these are to do with the South London network, which is about 150 metres offset from the Google Maps uh, overlay. Because of this, New Cross to St John's is about 200 metres longer than it is in real life. So it's not massively off, it's just a little bit. Um, the same goes for the Nunhead to Lewisham and Deptford to Greenwich. Uh, Greenwich does not have scenery yet, by the way. But that section is also off. Um, siding, naming and numbering. The cases where he didn't manage to find accurate sources for this. I applied what I saw as most fitting. That's totally fair. As long as it sort of goes. At the area and siding one or something. End of the day. As long as the marker's there. You can utilise the siding. It's not the end of the world. If you're not able to get all these details at the end of the day, just sort of improvise and make it look as uh, accurate as possible. Uh, Bromley North Gradients is also aware that the Bromley North branch is inaccurate gradients on the route. Uh, this was the first track he ever laid in train sim, and it's not up to par with the newer track sections. Totally fair. We may see updated track down the line, maybe for this version 2.01, you never know. I'm sure it would be perfectly usable at the end of the day. He did say the track's still usable. So I'm sure it'd be fine. I've not I've not got any snow to go that way yet, so I haven't driven it. I can't comment on it exactly. There is more to read here, but I'm just keep an eye on these signals because I know we're going to be held again, which we are. So, note to scenario creators, when starting a scenario outside the DTG's default areas, you have to manually place down a scenario marker at the intended start of scenario. This is because I have not yet added scenario markers to those areas. So, that's fair. so basically, normally in a route, which this means is, um, so take for example like JT's middle main line. When you want to go and make a scenario, you get a list of places that you want to spawn that scenario marker from. They're not implemented yet by the looks of it. So those will come at some point down the line, maybe. He seems to say there. Um, so to obviously get your scenario marker, you'd have to open up an existing free roam. Um, and then fly to where you want to go. And then drop down your marker um, from there. Pretty simple. 
don't take that long to do. That's how we had to do it on Cumbrian Coast for a while until we had the uh, Marcoon. Um, due to London Bridge being its old layout as well, it's difficult to funnel both South Eastern and Thames Links trains through it. This is what I mentioned before. Thus, I have created a makeshift Platform 7 to allow for two platforms in each direction. Uh, what recommended is to use Platform 4 and 5 for down services from Charing Cross and Blockfriars, and 6 um, to... Hang on. And 6 and the makeshift 7 to make up the services Charing Cross and Blockfriars. In some cases, you will have to leave some services out, which is, yep, totally fair. So, it's had to improvise. It's given us at least something to work with uh, until a more suitable track layout arrives at um, a future point. Uh, point. So, yeah. At least it's helped out. You're good. Can't say fairer than that. So we're on doubles. And there's a green. There we go. Um, right, so two-part scenario tips. Since anything from uh, east of Faversham isn't included in the route for stability, I recommend doing two-part scenarios for services from Charing Cross and Cannon Street to Dover and Ramsgate, splitting the snow at Faversham, and then continue on the new CML route. Um, and that also goes for snows and services bound for Tunbridge Wells or Hastings. You can then split the snow at Tunbridge and then continue on the 1066 line from back there to That's fair play. That's cool. So you can, oh yeah, you can do snows like that as well. That's cool. So you can see uh, like maybe two part packs. That's cool. Nice thought. Uh, in areas with many crossovers, it's wise to use the go via markers to avoid trains zigzagging between fast and slow lines. You get that with any route. So yeah, just make note. Just check your routing. And then finally, feedback. Any feedback is appreciated, good or bad. He then says enjoy. There we go. <clears throat> uh, we need to stop at Blackfriars carriage siding, which is nine miles away. <clears throat> and then Cannon Street. Which is about half an hour away, to be fair. So we've got a bit of a drive. Obviously, we'll be stopping and starting between all the service passing, doesn't it? I have no idea where we are at this moment in time. Where's this station? Beckenham Hill. I can't even remember if he said this was a new station or not. Should leave this open, really. Actually, if saying that, I don't know if this is new. I think I feel like this would have been seen before somewhere. I recognise this. Could be wrong, though. I did see a Beckenham thing. No, I didn't. No, I didn't see back then. So th no, this is existed. Let's see some four two threes knocking about. No, I do recommend. Uh, recommend. I, rep I remember this section. Actually, I have done a scenario here once before. It might be on Danny's workshop version. Performance forty FPS still at the minute. Just nice and stable. I'm not saying uh, how far it is to the last stop. I'm just going to quickly tweak that because I feel like I'm really like sat in the window. I barely see anything. Oh, 
This is Catford, I think. I think that's Catford. Yeah, Catford's another station somewhere down there. Oh, so this will make really good use of stuff like the old slam door stock, your three seven sevens and all that sort of stuff, three seven sixes, three uh, sorry four six fives and and all that jazz, seven hundreds <clears throat> as well. I feel like we're going to be doing a reversal on this working. Glimpse of the shard. Probably going to be held. Repeaters against us. Been given rope though. Really annoying that the hole's not working. It was working before. Wait, is this Peckham Rye? No, it's not. This is Nunhead. I did say there was some stuff to do with Nunhead somewhere. I didn't have scenery. Not that big, because that's got scenery. I mentioned Nunhead somewhere. There's something between here, Nunhead and somewhere. No, that's Peckham Rag coming up. <clears throat> Unless it's that section. Makes me nervous all these yellow signals, especially when I'm doing a video. But ideally, we don't want to fluff it up. So I mentioned there's a potential reversal here. Now, yeah, we're doing. 
direction where are we going here? we're going around the curve at um Lucky junction we're gonna go to that yeah we're gonna do a reversal and then go around and up that's cool it'll be different I thought we might have gone London Bridge way, but no, that's not happened. Hello, Greens. For how long, though? Who knows? Didn't realise we were so close to uh, to look for junction to be honest. Coming <laughs> quick. Currently don't have the road. Oh, there we go. It's just changed. Might be following something down there to be honest. I will get my bearings with this route eventually, properly what's here, there and, and that. But we have seen some new bits. It might not seem like much, but we do get to see some more as well towards the back end of the snow, so we get to do some get to do an interesting move at the end as well, which is quite nice. Not something you normally do on a stream or a video. More more actually, more so for a stream, less likely on a video. Try and keep things as straightforward as possible on videos. But this scenario just looked too good to pass for this section. No idea where the um, the change of speed is because it doesn't actually say. I presume it's so much this junction. Oh, that buzzing noise. Give it the beans before we get to uh, block for us. <clears throat> so we're getting towards the capital and about 25 to 30 FPS. So that's taken a bit of a dip, but <clears throat> it's to be expected. It was a busy scenario. Still more than playable.
Elephant and Castle. And then it'll be Blackfriars uh, carriage signing in literally under a mile. Just around the bend really now. Whether it'll be a straight run into the signings is a different matter. I probably would say it won't be. <laughs> we'll see. We're already getting yellow, so I presume we'll be getting held for something to, be, uh, to clear our path. Although we do have the road ballots of that. We've got the feather. <clears throat> but whether the, I'm not, I can't remember if there's another track or not comes in. I'm not sure if it goes into six tracks or not. The train over there on the bridge. It's like he's waiting for us, maybe. I'm not too sure. He's waiting for something. Unless he's sat on a siding, I'm not too sure. Now that's approved for us. I'm just going to double check here. Make sure that everything is right for us. Now he's in the siding, so that is actually just sat there waiting. And we do have the road, so we can continue. A dicky signal there. So this section under here that continues down there is actually fully scenery now um so that will be somewhere we will be taking a look at on another video that won't feature on today's video <clears throat> excuse my voice about me voice feels like it was about to go then <clears throat> it's never a good sign That's not see 700s everywhere as well. Uh, those change ends. <clears throat> Hello, driver. We've been having some issues with the signals this evening. After two Vic Night One clears, and you do not re and you do not receive the road, you may tab VS four triple one and the next signal. Also, um, if you receive the road, then you may proceed. Okay, so we need to wait anyway. So whilst we're waiting, uh, we'll leave that in neutral. Uh, we'll set our lights, and I'm just going to have a look at the destination blind. Excuse <clears throat> me. Now, via. Oh, good God, what's wrong here? Uh, uh... Yeah, they're slightly different on this end. I can't seem to change the uh, the the via. They're changing now. This end. Annoying. There must be a bit of a conflict between the two different liveries, maybe. I think this is the one we're waiting for. No, 
Nope. I was waiting for the two Victor something. So it was two Victor seventy or something else to be perfectly honest with you. Two Victor ninety one there. We'll see what happens anyway. It'll either give us the road or won't. We are literally going to be travelling a mile, it says there. Which is going to take us about 13 minutes. We're only going over there. Over side of round, sort of curve around ourselves. We love it when an AI goes for a red signal. Now. Well, I'll you. Um, I'm just going to go up in the area just to sort of show you how far we're going to go. So we're going over there. We're literally just going to sort of loop around ourselves. Got the other station over there. Which was uh, Charing Cross. I'll take to Waterloo East. I need another train coming to be honest. There's one there. Some Thames links off by the looks of it. St Paul's Cathedral standing proudly in the background there as well. So the bit we're on the middle of the new Chatham Mainline Medway, uh, no, so Chatham Mainline, Dover, Faversham, Ramsgate, thing. An absolute mouthful of a name, but that's the section of route we're on. We've got something coming out of Charing Cross at the minute as well. We've got Wimbledon to King's Cross Thameslink coming. It was, also, it was nice, a little bit of uh, spotting. A bit of action going on. A little bit of uh, Thameslink 319 there. Retro livery. Even more retro ness going up here. Wow. Nice to see these liveries. Don't see these very often. Lovely stuff. 
don't even think I've ever seen that one using a scenario yet. So, it's a first. All we've got coming up in next. So we've got two Tango 55. However, he, you know, if he'll be behind us or in front of us, the one coming off first still is a Charing Cross to Hayes. Love that with the uh, London Eye. It's a shame that it doesn't move that eye. Like he's just set off. <clears throat> have we been given road? Yeah, we have. We'll double check that. It looks like we have. Yeah, we have. Sometimes possibly hear why the destination blinds weren't quite working together. It's the other pack. Volume 1 and 2, basically. I love how you got these different services sort of like weave around all the lines. You, you join one, another one going past you off another line, and that. It's really cool. We've been held there for something now. Whether it's been held, I think maybe for him, I'm not too sure. Looks like there's maybe a set of points just over there. Yeah, there is. Excellent. Oh, here we go. And that's the route set to clear uh, to the left hand side there.
So this is the first for me going into uh, Cannon Street. And it's the first time I've done it at all, at all in TS. So it's the first time I get, and I get to do it on the, on the video as well for you. So you get to experience it at the same time. See it for the first time like me if you've not seen it before yet. We'll have a look at the station, see what's been done. Because it will be a kit bash, it's not a custom. <clears throat> As it wasn't a station feature on the other DTG routes. We are waiting for something. Going to platform four, which is one, two, three, four. I figure out what this has been built uh, out of. Well, it's been built out of all sorts of random assets, but not quite picture where that bridge came from. It wasn't the same one that was on this one. Unless it's a bridge that come from maybe out of Victoria or something, I'm not really sure. Could be. It's good though. Screenshot that with the uh, shard in it, and drains on it. A long train <laughs> with 12 cars. Absolutely huge. Hopefully, we'll get rolled in a second. Brilliant, off we go. I've enjoyed that. Something different. Look forward to taking uh, another scenario for a drive and get another video done for some of the other parts. We'll get them quite probably follow on, to be honest. Get them quite quick and uh, close to each other. This is nicely done. I've not been here, but I've seen pictures of the station and it, it, it looks cool. It resembles. Again, use what's available. And uh, done well to improvise. Well, I've enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Links are in the description uh, for the snow and also the route. So do take a look at those. 
Um, don't forget, catch on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash training underscore TV on a Friday and Sunday normally. Uh, any differences, I'll let you know, uh, else uh, otherwise on Facebook and that. But yeah, thank you. Cheers for watching, guys. Um, again, don't forget, try and take a look at that if, you, uh, if you're if you able to do so. It's a fantastic little route um, of new bits and pieces added on to existing stuff. So yeah, well worth a look at. Um, and again, we'll see you on the next video very, very soon. Take care and bye for now.